Okay, what's up, my home dogs and home cats? What up, what up? We're, we're back. Pond Collective is back, and uh, we're going to talk about new Fujifilm gear. Yeah, we uh, uh, we actually recorded we actually recorded something yesterday, two days ago, and then all this stuff got announced. So we're back. So we're back, and uh, it's looking really nice. Yeah, let's start with the one we are really excited about. This um, uh, this is going to be the new Fujifilm Fujicron 16 millimeter 2.8, my friends. Um, I think me and Mike's biggest worry with this thing was going to be its price tag, but it's actually priced lower or equal equal to the rest of the lenses, which was surprising for me. Yeah, you said you said five hundred. You guessed five hundred. Uh, which I thought was a great Which deal. Which is reasonable. When I reasonable, said it. Totally. <laughs> uh, reasonable. Deal. And they dropped it in at 399. It's a drum roll, guys. Was that did that not sound did that not sound like a drum roll? <laughs> 399. <laughs> no, I, it's just, it's an unbelievable deal. And if I mean, you're willing to wait a few months, people will buy it and return it. You could get it for probably 350. I mean, honestly, I think the pre-orders are about to go up as we record this. I'm gonna have to. Mike might pre-order. I'm gonna pre-order while on while we're talking on the it. camera, so <laughs> it's gonna happen. I'm gonna pop it open um, right now. Uh, so we don't go over specs really here. All you need to know it's a 2.8. Um, it's it's smaller than the rest of the Fuji Crons. Uh, I have. Mike, do you have any of the Fuji Crons available to show? Maybe just yeah. like the well, smallest one, let the, me, the, the one, 23 the one that the 35? It's, the one that it's comparable to is the 35, so I've got that right here. Um, so the 35, here it is. It's about this size. A little bit bigger, right? A I think bit, it looks like the front element is just bigger. A little bit longer. The, this thing is tiny. I can put this in my fist, it's, it's, and it's, it's gone. Really, really tiny. It's gone. This is this tiny lens. So this, but sixteen millimeter. Ah oh, man, it's Fuji. It's just fantastic. It's gonna it, look so. It's good. a four-piece kit now. I don't know what. I mean, what's missing? There's nothing missing really left in this. I mean, lineup. if you could, I don't know how you would get like a ninety. Or a hundred, yeah, like a telephoto, something that's like or a, a seventy-five or something, or a super wide. So like, um, so what's it called? The uh, that so Laua yeah, like company a, makes like a, a seven twelve seven millimeter. A seven. <laughs> All right, Fuji. If you really want to make us happy, you owe us a seven millimeter Fuji Cron and a hundred seventy-five millimeter Fuji. A <laughs> hundred oh, millimeter, Fuji and it has to be as small as the twenty-four. <laughs> Yeah, the well, no, the hundred millimeter has can only be a tad bit longer than the fifty you released. Okay, you can make it okay, happen. all right, I'll give them that. Uh, and 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 it has to be f two. No matter, <laughs> has to be f two. It has to be. <laughs> has to be f two. If it's not f two, I'm uh, not yeah. buying. Yeah, and the the seven millimeter has to be two point eight. <laughs> uh. I don't know what to say about this lens. I have this. I already have the 16 millimeter 1.4, which is a lens that I hold dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. um, people love that. But I people do have to say, lens. it is. I mean, people absolutely love that lens. It's it's an amazing lens. It's just really big. Are you shooting with it right now? I I'm shooting with it right now. It's what I shoot all these uh, these vids with. Um, it it's. It's just it's just large, and I know it's not large compared to a lot of other lenses. I have the seventy dollar metal hood attached to it at all times, so it makes it even larger. And when you take that off, it's it is it is small, but it's not Fuji Cron small. Yeah, I mean it's you know, it's fairly hefty considering how small the Fuji Crons are. I mean, here's my kit. You guys uh, can see my kit on my shot. 
I'm going to add that 16 to it. I mean, this is going to fit in a coat, couple of coat pockets. You know, like which is unbelievable, unbelievable, unbelievable. And there's and I got the gears um, on them. I'm gonna do a whole video about it just after this, but it's like I'm gonna be rolling, you know, running gun video in a in a in a bag, you know, a tiny bag. It's gonna be crazy, really tiny bag. Um, as far as reviews go for this thing, we don't have a copy of it, but people say it's obviously not as good as the 1.4 but i mean in what way are good, they saying like, it's it's worse they just say that image quality just a little bit isn't as good but the 16 1.4 is considered one of the best fuji lenses they've made so um you're gonna trade off the iq that is probably unnoticeable unless you're really looking at it like how does that branch look? <laughs> you know? Right. Uh, well, for, and for video. For, for size. For size. Yeah. And for video, that stuff probably doesn't even doesn't even register on 4K. It doesn't even. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, maybe maybe that's something we should we should try out when. Yeah, um, yeah. Test the IQ. When we get our hands on one. Doing 4K let's see. Video. Yeah, let's see if there's a big difference. Because, again, there's probably not. I mean, if you're looking at... Uh, if you guys don't know Jonas Rass, he does a bunch of great reviews for Fuji, and they send him all the stuff, and he has great samples. He's one of the guys that actually has real-world samples in his reviews mm-hmm. instead of just, like, check out this photo of a flower I took. Like, right, this right. is a picture of his kid on a sled. Right, like, right, right, right. cool. Yeah, great. I, I would love to have that photo. <laughs> um, oh, oh, and... and the hood, the leaf pedal hood that they are boxing with this thing. Looks just, great. It's, it looks great. It looks amazing. I've actually been buying it's, custom hoods for all mine because I don't like the hoods they come with. Um, been buying the third party hoods. But this one looks amazing. This one, yeah, it, it makes it just look absolutely phenomenal. Um,. Yeah, I, I, I mean, what else do you want to say about this lens other than we're both purchasing one? Well, let's, I am 100% purchasing one. I mean, I'm about um, to... I already have the 16 1.4. I'm about to pre-order it right now. Mike is about to pre-order. It's up I think for if pre-order. you are a Fuji shooter... Yeah, if you're a Fuji shooter and size is your whole thing, I mean, there's this is a no-brainer. I know a lot of people... Uh, uh, for whatever reason, a lot of street... People, street photographers that I read, the they think 24 is a little too wide. Um, yeah. I shoot 24 a lot, or 24 equivalent, which is what the 16 is. Right. And um, I've been doing that since my first 24 millimeter lens, which was the Canon 1.4 version 2. And that focal length to me is is my all-time favorite, I think. Um, yeah, I, um, I've been shooting the 24 mostly just because that's what I have. And I like it, but there are situations in which it's not wide enough. Yeah, um, it's just not wide enough, right? Uh, it it is it is a different like thirty thirty five and twenty four sound close, but it really is a different style of shooting. Oh, it's, I know, yeah, it's um, totally different. My friend David, who I shoot weddings with, like love my twenty four millimeter shots, and he like bought one, and he just he returned it because he was like, I just didn't under he couldn't understand it. He j- it just was not really? in his. Um, <laughs> rever- yeah, he was just like I. He was like I just don't get it. Like it doesn't fit my style of shooting. That is funny. Uh, so so maybe that's maybe that is something to consider. It is it is very wide. I mean, and as a walk around lens, which is what I typically do with it, um, it's wide. Uh, it's it's not great for portraits, but you can do some pretty cool portrait stuff with it. Um, I don't know. There was a review I read too that uh, this lens is also going to have the same minimum focus distance as this 1.4, which is awesome what? because That's this crazy. one you can get really, yeah, you can get really, 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 really. Close. All of the Fuji Crons like, have a surprisingly close. good minimum focus yeah. distance, and it's yeah, not yeah, amazing yeah, yeah. by any means. But considering how small they are, you usually in these like smaller like like middle range lenses the thing that they get rid of is that minimum focus distance. It ends up being like a meter or meter and a half. 
And I think like all of these are at least a meter, if not less. I mean, the 24 yeah, the, is definitely uh, less. The 35 is less. I don't know what the 50 minimum focus is. No, the 50 is really good. Is dude. it? Because it's, I mean, yeah, because it's telephoto and you can get really, really close. I've done, um, for some of my wedding stuff, I've, I've done like watch details and stuff with that lens because it gets, it gets pretty close. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, it's. Let me, let me, sh- I know who it was. It was this guy, Keith Wee. Uh, he has this, oh, wait, that's, damn it. Here it is. Here's the sample of the minimum focus distance. Look at the Lego. Oh my gosh. Is that the, that's the 16? So, yeah, that's, that's the 16. Uh, right yeah, now. Really close. Look at it next to, the, look at it next to a Lego person. Amazing. It's a little bit taller. <laughs> I've got so right now yeah, if you that. can see this, I've got shit. this is the minimum focus on the fifty right now. That's about a foot. Where are you? It's insane. But it's zoomed in. Yeah, it's crazy, right? It's crazy. It really is crazy. It's I'm <laughs> take like I got my ring in like like the main part of the shot. It's crazy. So I don't know if the, they they keep doing it with these Fujicrons and they're speaking my language. As a even though I'm a pretty big guy, I love these tiny little lenses. They're amazing guys, and let's let's you know you want to talk about 1.4 and all that stuff, which I'm not saying it's not good, but for the price of these lenses, for the travel capabilities and just sheer size yeah. it, it can't be beaten yeah I'm i mean sorry. i agree there, no no other com- no other company is is even coming close to these things i wish i wish it was a one four but i i, I can't i can't deny the size and the travel ability yeah yeah we can say we wish all of them were one four like and with I- yeah, with if, ibis if, and the and the like how the iso looks now i mean I can get up to like five thousand ISO and it's usable footage. Right, right. You know, it is like it's like it's it's like the technology is going this way, and then the lenses can kind of give and take. A exactly, little bit more. right. But we're not it, we're not relying on on sliver thin focus, which I don't even love sliver thin focus anymore. I, I, so. I like I told you, I used to be all about that. And yeah, I know. I'm not. I'm not about that that life anymore for whatever reason i i love not that it's I bad the way not that it's food. bad no it's but not i bad. like we, now it's we've got we've come into a situation where we like the subtlety we like the subtle blur in the background don't destroy it right completely blow yeah, it away don't destroy you know? it yeah yeah exactly anyway so uh guys uh, if you yeah. guys want to pick this lens up and you want to help us out we got our first affiliate link in the description so if you click it, Whoa. we get some sort of kickback. I've never done this before. If you want to help out the, the small guys who are literally not making any money doing this, click that link if you want to buy it. And uh, uh, yeah, you could give us you know a little bit of love. This uh, you will be happy with this lens. I I don't think anyone that purchases this this lens will even think about getting rid of it or returning it. I mean, it's only four hundred bucks. I <laughs> you can't right can't beat the price i don't i don't know i don't know how they're doing it i'm not sure fuji's amazing i don't know how they do but, it uh, either but yeah uh, they're gonna whenever i mean i i think we're gonna deal we're gonna get a lot of people jumping jumping ship i hope yeah uh, uh, the other thing is like it it makes me like even consider like should i even have this 1.4 like there's only gonna be very sp- specific situations where i'll be like i need the 1.4 Right. I, I guess that's the thing is like, stuff, I'm afraid I'm not going to use stuff. my 24 anymore. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Dude. That sucks. Probably not. probably not. It's a bummer for the 24. Yeah. Well, actually, if it's, it's low not. light, if it's low light, I'll probably like that extra stuff. That's yeah, that's that's the only thing is like if, when it's dark, like, OK, here we go. But if it's like daytime, I'll be yeah, I'll be shooting at 16 every just, time. Yeah. <laughs> I end up, 60. I end up, I end up stopping down to two eight or low or or more in the day to get, to get the sharpness so anyway. Saying. So yeah, you want that? Yeah. Okay. And uh, and Fuji just plays to that style of shooting. Yeah. Yeah. They're not. Yeah. I agree. Uh, let us know what you guys think. Are you going to be getting this? Do you already own the triplet? The Fuji tr- Crons. I know I do. Yeah, I do too. Um, so if you if you got the if you're getting the whole kit. Join us. 
Yeah. And if you're not a Fuji user and you're seeing this, you can get these four lenses for probably around fifteen to sixteen hundred bucks. You can get an entire, entire lens, lens kit. kit, and I'm going to show you in another video with another hundred dollars, you can turn it into a cinema lens kit for fifteen hundred dollars, and it has autofocus. Get the fuck out of here, Sony. Get the fuck out of here with your goddamn thousand dollar lenses. Jesus Christ. Now I'm mad. You heard it here first. Guys. Now I'm now mad. He's mad. Now he's I'm mad. Click that affiliate link. Click subscribe. Click like. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. You guys are awesome.